Hi, I'm Simon and these are my hands. Together we are going to show you how to go from spare parts to a resin connected device. Let's gather our ingredients. Firstly, you'll need a device. We are going to be using a Raspberry Pi. Secondly, you'll need a micro SD card. Make sure it's formatted to FAT32. You'll need a network cable to connect your device to the internet and USB cable to power it. Later, we will need a portable speaker to play audio from your device. And of course, your beverage of choice. I'm drinking a cup of Earl Grey tea, but you're welcome to whatever you like. Step 1. Create an account and an app. Follow the link to our website, sign up with an account, enter your public key or import it from GitHub, and then create an app. We're going to call it Simon Speaks. Then download the zip file, unzip it and expand the content onto your SD card. No image burning needed. Step 2. Connecting your device. Insert the SD card into your device as well as the Ethernet cable unless you're connecting wirelessly. Then connect it to your power source. Now Resin.io will partition your SD card, install a custom Linux environment and establish a secure connection with our servers. It should take around 6 minutes. Time for a martini. Once our device has appeared on the dashboard, we can view its logs, change its name, and identify it by using the blink button. Step 3. Pushing code to your device. We could write something from scratch, but let's just pick a sample project from Resin's documentation. We'll pick simple text-to-speech. Let's clone this repo to our local drive using git clone and take a look at the code. The demo is really simple. It's pure Node.js with just a couple of imports and two lines to execute with nothing Resin I.O. specific. It uses Google's text-to-speech to get an MP3 audio stream of the supplied text. This is where our portable speaker will come in handy. So if we change the text variable, it should play on our speaker once we push the code. Now add Resin as a remote repo by running git remote add resin followed by the repo's URL. Then commit your changes and run git push resin master. The unicorn will let you know that the push has been successful and the code will then download onto your device. Hi Simon, care for another drink? Yes, thank you. That sounds splendid. Resin.io. Get pushed to hardware.